No in Big Ten play. Penn State, one win and just that one loss last weekend against Maryland, looking to bounce back, and we're underway. It's Callahan and Chase Mullins, and it's an interesting battle at the faceoff dot. We'll talk about throughout the course of the day. First faceoff win goes to the Nittany Lions. Bauer isn't one of them. He's more of a jitterbug. Quickness, number seven in white. Here's Peshko. See the physicality. Now Penn State shows on the slide. Melendez. The shoot. Frasian eats that one up. Simple stop for Frasian. On the attack. Here's Jake Morin. Over to Malone. Get to the middle of the field. Now back to his right. He'll shoot. Got hit the pipe. Stays with the Nittany Lions. Fresh 60 seconds on the shot clock. That shot goes. Matt Trainer, eighth in the country in goals per game, picks up another one here early in the going at Homewood. One to nothing, Penn State. Talked about coming off that Sunday night setback against the Terps. Well, there you have it. This team's ready to go off the bus. They have never won here at Homewood Field, but this is a terrific start. Trainer, the junior from Malvern Prep, he's a guy that lives in the big moments. And twice on that first possession, Cotter, they had they had Malone against the shorty. Jill Rain, the true freshman, highly rated recruit. There's number six for Hopkins. Under 10 to shoot. Trainer's gonna have to let it fly, and Erlen makes the save. Penn State's getting decent looks so far. Here's Angeles being checked by Alex Ross. Tried to get the skip pass to Melendez. He couldn't get through the defense. Really nice job. When we talked to Jeff Tambroni this week, he talked about his defense having the. Out of Melendez back out to Bauer. Good look up top. Shot. Save made by Frassian. Goalies must have hated days like this. Malone, again, tried to skip pass. Hopkins with their sticks in the passing. Coverage of cutters. Shot clock now at 10 seconds. Melendez, puts a shoulder into Posey. Gets a little bit of space. Goes to the far side, and Frassian making the save. Third of the day. He's heavyweight bout of body punch, body punch, body punch. Malone got the switch up top. Shot. Erlen makes the save. Rebound comes to Penn State. Wow. Offside. Got a good step with his left hand. Got that stick down low, down, down by his hip. That's a sensational stop. Trainer trying to get underneath his defender. Smith can't do it. And again, the skip pass picked off. Hopkins crushing. Out. And Bauer will come in. He's got a full head of steam. Defender on his hip, gets it to Angeles. Extra pass, and defended beautifully by Penn State. Melendez trying to get underneath his defender, can't get leverage. Got the shorty on him, let's see what 31 can do here from X. Shoots, Frassian makes the save and chases after it. Weak angle shot, country, so to speak. He and Liam Entman, in my eyes, and that makes it simple. Without ball reversal or ball movement, a goalie's job is much easier. Angeles to Ayers. Now they'll try Ayers on the wing and see what he can do against a shorty. Gets it to Angeles. He'll look for a cutter. Finds one inside, but there's way too much traffic. Penn State trying to get something quick, but Erland says no way. Now we're going the other way. Counterattack. And he's got offensive players on the field. Frasson saw that one all the way, man. Raposo thought he might. And that teams will go on runs in games and then. I guess it comes down to making adjustments and handling the best punch that your opponent can give. Penn State did not handle it very well last week, and they couldn't, they couldn't get it back. They lost the momentum. Game time. I haven't mentioned this game very much. Oh, look at that shot. A lot behind it, but Frassian saw it all the way. Who can draw a penalty? Who can press to the middle, maybe draw a foul and score on the extra man? Morin with all kinds of room, and he decided not 
not to take the shot. Penn State here. had a momentary advantage coming out of the sub box there. Uh, again, why would Morton take advantage of that? Yeah, national title game. Right. At some point in time, hopefully soon, Penn State will be able to put that in the rear view mirror and make amends and cut down the nets at the end of the day. A challenge here on the road, though, against Hopkins. Talk to Jeff Tambroni about Jack. He says he brings it every day. Super consistent with his work ethic, his focus. Talking to John Hoss, their OC, who's a pro player, former Maryland and PLL guy. He says he's as good as any goal he's seen in the pro league. That means a lot to me. When, when Coach Hoss is telling me and you pregame right. how good he thinks this goal is. A little unorthodox, right? A little different. A little bit of innovation the way he uses his body to make some of those saves. Hopkins has it. He's solid. Behind the back here, though, Melendez changes all that. Strike up the alumni band, Q. They're here in force. Uh, they, they sound robust. And they may have some uh, frostbite on their lips after a quiet first quarter. Dylan Bauer picks up the assist. Melendez now six goals in his last three games. That's it. Sort of levels the playing field, if you will, if he's got to spot the ball carrier. Exactly, as opposed to coming from a stationary isolation dodge from the wing. You see the ball in the stick in the pocket the whole way. Dangerous pass, almost worked out really well for Penn State. Instead, instead it's a big scrum. Big battle. Bodies flying all over the place for this loose ball. Still bodies flying. Tamproni wants a call, won't get it, but his team will get possession. He's Pesco and Collison went to uh, you know, NFL tight ends out there, 16 and 51. Pesco. Got his hands free, shot on the outside of the cage. Thought he might have given him to get a little bit closer, a little bit better shot. Seven save for Erlen. Jordan. Long strider. Good look inside, and Erlen makes that save. Both these goaltenders have been sensational today. That was an amazing, amazing position save by Erlen, who he's playing the feeder up top. The ball's slam dunk to the backside post, and boom, he's there in position for the quick for the quick stick. Watch this. This ball gets sliced through the D. Erlen, one step in position with the Penn State staff and defense is playing for. I thought Angelus let him off the hook. He had a matchup superiority. Malone. Warren. Quick passing. That time, Trainer is on the business end of that passing and beats Erlen. Tic tac toe there, Q. Got Hopkins on their heels. In a game where offense has been sold separately, you get a multiple pass goal. Stops, starts on the far side of the field, gets the defense on the carousel rotation. Catch it and move it. Costin to Trainer. Matt Trainer has both Penn State goals. That on a got homecoming king and queens. And it's senior day in 22. Blue Jays walked here on senior day. 60 man, 60 plus on the roster. Last 22. Angela scores! Great pass from Bauer. <laughs> 23 was one of those 22 who walked. And he knocks this game at two apiece. The band plays to win after every goal. This is what you want to see, I think, right now, if you're a Blue Jay fan. Getting the ball behind the net. The double team is drawn. Angelus flashes to the far post and presents a target. The ball's a little off, and he manages to catch that back seat. Morin will slow things down a bit for the Nittany Lions. Malone's going to have to chase it down, and he does. Gets it to Matt Costin here on the near side. Look to attack a shorty. Now back up top. Trainer on a move to Malone. Costin. 
That comes. It's by the defense. Now it scores! That lights up the Nittany Lions bench. What an individual effort. 19th goal of the season. Jeff Tambroni told us he's the best dodging midi. Plays with confidence and scores big goals. He's a graduate student now. But watch the double team. It's effective. Everything but the takeaway. Watch the stick on stick right there. And somehow the ball doesn't pop out of his pocket. I mean, you talk about ball retention. Again, watch it. He's created him left handed. This is a good double boom right there. And he's just amazed. It's not even on the bubble yet. So they, they got a lot of work to do. Had that big win or have that big win against Maryland. Probably could use another one to really bolster that resume against one of these top teams in the league. Whether that comes in regular season or whether that comes in the Big Ten tournament. Here's Malone on a shorty. It's Martin. He shoots and scores! <laughs> You have been saying it all game long. Goals are hard to come by when you get that big little matchup and these superstars on offense get that shorty checking them, they got to take advantage, and Malone does. Well, first of all, that's a great timeout by John Hawes, their OC, and head coach Jeff Tamperoni to set that play up. Secondly, Hopkins has, as you said, Chris, they've put a shorty on Malone dur during switches and really haven't been on alert. Okay, as soon as this, that time he gets underneath to his right and swivels to his left. This time, Colby Baldwin is taking the draw for Penn State, and it's won by Hopkins. McDermott shoots and scores! Oh, they're going to wave it off. We got a timeout by Hopkins, and it waves off. That's why McDermott is on the wings during face-offs, because he gives you instant offense if he picks up a ground ball. And unfortunately, Hopkins called the timeout before the goal. Dish can't find anybody open. Angelus gonna come near side. He's gonna have to beat his man. Switches to his right, and that shot came off of Rassi's foot and went all the way to penalties in this game. That shows that the offenses have been minimally invasive. Colby Baldwin wins the faceoff, and he'll take a shot and wide. So Baldwin getting some run instead of Chase Mullen. I knew you would have a scientific explanation for that. Is Wall Street. Trying to get upfield. Question marks bounces it over the top. More and backs it up though. Malone on Smith. Primetime matchup. Now he's gonna shovel it. Erlin all over it though. Really, really good stuff. Stupid. Peshko tried to use a pick. Defender slipped it though and crashed it. Gosh, not only does he make that save, but he soaks it up and catches it from like three feet, from like me to you. It was almost one of those when he made it, you had a double take to make sure he made it, the way he was so calm, cool, and collected standing there. Now loose ball in the middle of the field, though, and the official is going to get it back to Hopkins. That's where Penn State can do better, Lou. 25 to shoot for Hopkins, patient on this offensive possession, Melendez. Trying to put his shoulder into the defender, but he is shut down. Defense starts with communication and then dictating where the ball carriers are allowed to go. And then, and then help right there. Got the help, but he got through it. Now he gets free and shoots and scores. How about that? Ayers checks in at 5'9", 160 pounds, the freshman, and he muscled through the checks. He circles this one around the defense like he's driving around the beltway and doesn't want to get off. I mean, what do you run through? Three Penn State defender watch, double team, boom. Squirts through, regains the ball, down the alley. Keeps going. Penn State's a little slow to go and he wants him change levels. Jump shot, high release to a low location. Finally, somebody is able to beat Frassion. Ayers, Ayers just kept going. He's like, I'm going for it, man. I'm Wall Street. Shot clock down to 12. Trainer. 
Now he's got his defender hung up, looked up top. Really good defensive possession by Johns Hopkins. And they get possession back. That's a lot of attention, the double. It's back. Working on Raposo. Still working on him, trying to come up field. Now Zulu checks back on him. Go to the far side, Malone. Just loses it. Like he was in the act of passing it, and it just came out of his stick. Great hustle, though, by Penn State to earn it back. Not a fresh shot clock, though, so 15. Malone coming up field, shoots wide. Ooh, he took a hit. He ran into his own player. I think he's hurt. This didn't look good. Now it's it's trainer. He and Trainer. The collision in both 22 Trainer and 7 Malone in blue were involved. Let's see if a Hopkins player was in the middle of this as well. There's the shot. Yeah, he did take the shot initially. Then he ran into the feet of, of uh, Trainer. Wasn't Smith who got him? I can't see the number in there. Might have been Stabner. Stabner, yeah, Stabner, Stabner with got the him. mustache. Best stash on the team, according to uh, Degna. This ball picked up by, again, one of those D middies. Numbers with a trailer. Shot. Not going to be fasting on that shot. And he's going quickly the other way. And they got offensive players on the field, including Costin. Look for trailer. And then take their head off. They're tired. Hopkins bends. Trying to keep their team fired up. Costin shoots. Erlen makes the save. Free in front. Rebound shot goes wide. You use a timeout if you're out. Trainer. On Smith. Trying to come through traffic. Still the whole 35 seconds left on the shot clock. Long defensive possession for Hopkins. Costin gets inside and scores. That was a huge sequence of events in this game, I feel like, Q. Absolutely, Cotter. Absolutely. Penn State earning multiple possessions due to the great ride. Hopkins defense on the ropes. Gassed and tired. Penn State continues to pound. They're up by two. Shooter, you got a high volume shooter. 40 straight games with a goal. He's 0 for two. Only two attempts. Angeles trying to come up field, trying to use that quickness. It does, but Fasten can't be beat. Not, nothing off of feeds to the crease. The version that people expect to challenge for championship weekend. Costin had a notion. Smith quickly out to check him, though. Now Malone with the freshman. Kill rain on him. Uses a pick. We get the big little again. Here's Jaronski. The feed behind the back, and Erlen makes a sensational save. 13 saves now for Earl, and he made 15 last weekend against Michigan. Okay, here's Degnan with the left. Melendez. I think Jimmy Harris has got to be the guy, Connor. Here's Angeles. Now he comes up field. Ayers is on the far wing, Melendez. It's the hot hand coming in, going against Posey. Gets by Posey, the shoots, Frassian makes the save! That was gonna be a brilliant goal or a brilliant save, but look at the ride, and a score by Degnan! That's the lefty hammer we've seen now in 41 straight games for Degnan. This is an absolute disaster nightmare if you're Penn State. You're playing great defense off the save. It's a crease violation. You get a restart with the ball on goal line extended, and a three-yard pass is, is just thrown into the dirt. Degnan. About a 10-second differential between shot clock and game clock as we near the end of this third quarter. There's the Jordan. Jordan on its. 
alone. Now the double team comes. Now he's got the matchup he wants against Ince. It's underneath him. Shoots, scores! This has happened all day. And it's mind-boggling that Hopkins would think that they could cover T.J. Malone with a short stick defensive midfield and not support it right away. The pick creates the change to the matchup. That's a big little pick against a pole and a shorty. And now all of a sudden Malone's covered by the weakest link of the Hopkins defense, the defensive midfield. As soon as you see this, flashing lights are everywhere defensively. You got it. Very well in the second half. They'd make a mistake and they would let that mistake build on more and more mistakes. Mistake here in their deep end, right? They yes, allow a yes, goal, yes. they come right back and get the goal back. I think we're seeing toughness in a year that looks like Notre Dame and that everybody else, I mean, in my eyes, teams 2 through 15 are about equal. Angels try to get it to Dang on Ken. Collison shoots. Frassian makes yet another save. Horn sound. Up like a, uh, I don't know, it's a fat back, but it's like a, it's a barbecue, like pork shoulder, probably. Oh, man. Take some of that. i to get one of those for my way out of here. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> Bring it home. Seasons and mud. You didn't care. You liked that when you were in high school. That's high school kids love that stuff. Good feed inside. Carlson scores! No. Will they count it? No, he was in the crease. They wave it off. Now he had to take the, the tangent of the crease, and the defender was kind of there. So the only free real estate was closer to Frassion. Saves for Hopkins. So clearing for Penn State is something we need to keep our eye on. Take a look at the crease violation. Penn State's last possession. It's Collison. Yep, he's all over that blue line. Hopkins last possession right here. Co Collison, 16. Little zone defense from Penn State, maybe? What's the reason for that? What are you forcing Hopkins to do? Shoot from outside, beat him from outside. Changing it up. Maybe you're starting to think you're getting a little tired defensively. You play too much defense here. It's a different look. It's a Hopkins team that should be quite effective against the zone, though. They're just, with their sticks and their shooting ability. Chauvet opts not to take the shot. Here's Degna on your side. Fasten just robbed that pass intended for Angeles right out of the sky. I keep, I just keep setting picks from below the way Hopkins is playing this. They do, but Killer Ring comes over the top of it. You can get a switch, that's a great deal for Penn State. Trainer. Shoots. Early. Easy stop. Great offense. I, I, I like the I like this the, the, the shifting, the east-west movement, multiple passes. Sound like a broken record, but another opportunity here for Hopkins. Only down two goals. McDermott. And the ball movement. Melendez had no angle. But he finds Degna on the far side. Now the defense closes up. Now he shoots and scores! Penn State showed, but didn't go with the shorty 33, and Degna recognized it, and he beats Frassian. Keeps his streaking alive on his third senior day. Look, this is all about the skip pass. Right here. Degna, a little pump and go. Box fake, steps back, frees up his hands. The, the, his ability, yeah, he's a lefty. Everybody in the building. Got him on Penn State. Illegal body check to the head. One minute and four time. One minute, full time cue with an illegal wow. body check to the head. Well, at least we know the officials brought flags today because we weren't quite sure. Can't see it, can't see it. Right there? I, that, no, that's that was it? not contact. That's it, maybe? No, 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 it was the first one. That, oh, the first one? Yeah, it was not contact to the head. It looked like an elbow to the shoulder region. Here it is. Right, it's coming up, right there. Yeah. Scott, take your best shot, the one you feel comfortable with. You don't want to start shooting towards a, a goalie's tendency. Melendez, jab step. Penn State killed off the man down. We are at full strength. But this defense has been on the field for a while. Deglin trying to take advantage and does.
Just like that, he has a hat trick cue. We're all knotted up at six. And this one caught for Asi on guessing high. Degnan with the runner. Usually he does his damage with feet set. This time he puts himself in motion against the shorty. Three quarter arm bouncer using the earth. We're tied up at six. And it just, it just became a, a workhorse. Mr. Consistency. Pete Millman says he's so consistent, so steady. Bauer on the run. Back to his right and scores! Listen to this homecoming crowd here at Homewood. Hopkins takes the lead for the first time this afternoon. We want more rollback. Left-handed, you feel the defender trailing and, and overplaying it. Whoop. Hit the brakes, 360 spin. Little change of level, sidearm shot to the up. All you're thinking right now for either team, next goal, next goal, next goal. Peshko waiting for Bauer, here he comes. Got an advantage over his defender. Awesome. Why? That doesn't even get through. Hits a defender in the middle. Big now for the loose ball in front, won by Penn State. Chance here for Hots. Boom! Heads up. Man, Very good. Offensive weapons. They get the switch. And they take advantage of it. It's pretty easy. I mean, in, in its most simplistic fashion, Hopkins continues to switch onto TJ Malone. Penn State's pick continuing to change these matchups. Here it is. Effective pick set, matchup changes. Turn and rake. Martin's picked, Malone slips. Restore for Penn State after being out. Rehab it from his ACL. He's played the entire game, too, Q. Yeah, and, and well, defenses. Collison got free scores. You can see fatigue hitting both teams as these fans are feeling fresh. In a game that was a defensive struggle early, things are now starting to open up here. Fans on their feet. Band getting a workout. Collison catches this from Angelus, and his defender's just in a bad, bad spot. There's a lot to be said about a capable Fogo, too. A, either a change in style or just a change in matchup from what we've seen just nationally at the position this year. This ball picked up by Costin. Now he's got a chance here, a little advantage. Gets it to the far side of Moore. Going all over him. Look at big this. loose ball, big this. loose ball here. Timeout granted. Charlottesville, when that brass section starts going, and then up at Cornell. I love the big, I love the, love the big red band. They wear those striped red and white outfits. Costin. Number 20 to shoot. I'll kill right now, Malone. Costin, the fire. Bounces in, and makes the save. Put on the offensive end, and it has not been easy Ooh. of late. They have one timeout remaining. Inside of two minutes. Long. Pit Costin coming out of the box. Back to Costin. Shoot, scores! That was a replica of a Jake Taylor twister.
that we saw on championship weekend a year ago. From good distance, too, Q. Catching this and just a wicked twister. Long throwback, cross-handed twister over his left shoulder. Keeps this right-handed, strong through contact right here. Look at the strength and doesn't change. Oh, look like that might have. About a two-second difference. Here's Malone. Attacking. Now he's got Martin on it. No space, though. Martin does a very nice job. We gotta, we're going to get a loose ball push, though. No, we don't. They call Malone for flopping on the ball. For withholding, I guess. Yes. Starters. They're, they're the guys you want to initiate. You'd love to see a guy like Degnan Collison with his hands free from mid-range. Hopkins hasn't won a game in their last possession in six years. Shango hits off the pipe. Huge loose ball. Degnan picks it up. And the horn is going to sound. Wow, Collison got his look. I tell you what. It's Baldwin and Callahan. One by Penn State. On. They'll get it to Bauer. Here's Angeles. Bauer on the short, he gets to the middle of the field. Good look inside, score! That's the game winner for Hopkins! Jays win this one with defense in overtime. They lose the faceoff. But Patrick Deans presses out right here against the ball carrier. Look at him challenge this. And then Zuluk sticking the passing lane just creates enough interference there visually that the turnover is created. Bauer draws two. Collison flashes the middle in the second slide. The help is a second late. And Collison from point blank range. Jays have a win in overtime.